What's going on, guys? Your buddy Rafi here with a uh, luckily, hopefully, finding this one 124 scale Jada Toys uh, diecast car that I want. It is an actual Plymouth Roadrunner and uh, with Wiley Coyote standing next to it, which is kind of funny because he Wiley Coyote never catches the Roadrunner and there's an actual Plymouth Roadrunner vehicle. So yeah, it's funny that he's not gonna catch this car either. But uh, I've been searching for that vehicle for about two and a half weeks. Uh, today, it's supposed to be Mrs. Raffi's day off, but uh, since she got a promotion a few months back, she's a manager now, um, and uh, Easter it's approaching, you know, she had to set up uh, some stuff yesterday, but didn't finish it. So I'm like, you know what, baby? It's supposed to today be a day off. Of course, she's not gonna work a full day, just a few hours. So you know what? I'll take you to work so you don't have to drive on your supposed to be day off. And because it's about 45 minutes away from home, uh, it's a different area that I really don't hunt, usually hunt, but I have been lucky finding uh, cars. So with that said, I am, I've been to a few Walmarts, I've been to a few Targets, and the Target I just left I have a DCPI number and they said that the target that I had gone to prior to the one I was has a few quote unquote sometimes there's discrepancies on the numbers please forgive the whole sh shakiness of the camera I have uh, a little somewhat cheap little uh, uh, attachment or base or whatever you want to call it to hold my phone uh, this iPhone 11 is quite heavy and um, you guys must be wondering um, I'm not driving my Tahoe it's because I have a 2001 Toyota Corolla so actually as a matter of fact now that I'm looking at the images I'm recording the interior reminds me a lot of my 2001 same year uh, Honda Civic R2-D2, the one I made an R2-D2 theme on. Um, it had this, somewhat of the same color interior. So, yeah. Fingers crossed I could find that Wiley Coyote with the Plymouth Roadrunner. I keep on saying Forerunner. That's a Toyota. Um, so, yeah. I am very much looking forward to finding that. Yeah. Driving around. I haven't done hunting like this or done videos of hunting in a long time. But uh, it's gonna happen. Please, as usual, forgive my scruffiness. Especially when you're wearing a mask. You know, it's a good excuse not to, not an excuse, but you know, I don't have to shave as often. But anyways, we're approaching the place, Target, fingers crossed, I'll find Wiley Coyote in that Plymouth Roadrunner. Let's do this. Okay, so we're here in the section where they have the Jada Toys 124 scales. Now, for you guys that collect or have been thinking about collecting or will start collecting Jada Toys, there will be um, same, the 124 scales and there's different versions of it as well as prices. Let me show you guys. A lot of you guys probably have seen in the toy aisle cars like this. This is actually a cool. I already have it. I have it out displayed. I haven't grabbed this one yet. I see it everywhere. So these are called are are considered Hollywood rides. Reason is they have themes. You know, like Batgirl. Of course, you got Scooby Doo. They come with some of them come with a figure. In this case, with two figures, you got Scooby and Shaggy. And then let's see back here. And then, oh, are you kidding me? You know, this is a car that I was looking for on St. Patrick's Day to get it released and look at it. I already have it, so no need to grab this one. This is a beautiful 52 uh, COE Chevy uh, with Wonder Woman. And 
uh, you got Fast and the Furious with with Brian. So you see some goodies, right? So these are usually about treat these nicely. These are usually you know twenty dollars, nineteen ninety nine. Then you have the same one twenty four scale. You have these, the hyper spec. You got some beautiful cars. Oh, GT, Ford GT, and then you have the new line of the actual Fast and the Furious, uh, Romans, Lamborghini, Letty's, Dodge Viper. I mean, so and so forth. So you also actually have Letty's Dodge Challenger uh, SRT8, and then uh, Target's actually starting to carry so nice. My still 118 scales are beautiful, very nice detail, die cast. Okay. I am going to check if I find a, an employee that could check that DCPI for me. Oh, look at this. People have been going nuts trying to find this. I already have a couple, so got the, found the Grogu. Grogu. Yeah, and the hover pram. Um, I also found earlier the uh, the uh, the Razor Crest from the Mandalorian as well. But I'll show you guys that later. Now, let me find the employee that can help me check this DCPI, see if they do have the actual Roll Runner. All right, guys, fingers crossed. Uh, apparently, they have three in the back. Uh, employees about to check. My heart's pounding because I've really been looking for this for, yeah, about two weeks or so, so. A lot of driving around. Um, if they don't have it here, there's another store about 15 minutes from here. I'll check that place. And then if not, then there's one near my house. So I will have to wait till about 2 p.m. for Mrs. Bradford to get out of work. And then on my way home, hopefully, by the time I get there, they have they have it. I really want it. Guys. For some reason, the number that you had. Yeah along with the, like other numbers of these yeah. routes to a different DPCI that's grouped together. So okay. there are three different models in the back. That's the only one of them. Dude, I'm 40, I'm 41. I'm like six year old right now. You have no idea. I've been driving yeah, about two weeks and I live like, like almost an hour from here. And you have no idea. I actually started a video hunting for this and I found it. So this is awesome. Thank you so much. No I appreciate it. Guys, I got it. You guys want to take a look? Oh, look at this. I'm like a little kid right now. You guys have no idea how bad I wanted this. I mean, this brings back memories to you know, like childhood memories. When I was a kid, I used to watch, you know, the Road Runner and Wiley Coyote try to, uh, you know, chase him, always trying to do something to catch him. It's, it's sad that a lot of the 80s cartoons, they don't show them no more because they're violent or whatever, but like this it's just cartoons it's like looney tunes bugs bunny daffy Duck, and um yeah i'm super hyped i am super hyped that i found this um i, I like i said i've been hunting for a lot of things and i get quite lucky kind of like with the phone call pops but with anything else that i that i collect so anyway let's get up front pay for this bad boy and um to be honest um <laughs> i was i didn't think i was gonna get it or find it today but i give it a try and something say so, you know what let me just start the video because if i do you know then it kind of takes away some of the building the build-up excitement and i got it so let's go pay for this and uh head out to i don't even know if i want to go out hunting for anything else yeah buddy I still can't believe I found it. <laughs> I still can't believe I found it. Um, you see, for some of you guys, you know, for most of you guys that, that have been subscribed to me for a long, for the longest, first of all, I appreciate your support and you guys still are my subscribers and still follow me. Um, I get these, 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 uh, uh, kind of like a spidey sense, kind of like, like it's a hunting. It's like a, like a hunch, like, all of a sudden, I get this urge that to go to a store to find something. Listen, it paid off. I have, like, you guys have no idea how bad I wanted this. Um, I believe, I think it was the same vehicle, but growing up in Puerto Rico, one of my friends, her dad had one. It was yellow. Oh, that thing was gorgeous. We're talking about back in, back in the, uh, 
early 90s living in Puerto Rico. A friend of mine had heard that had one. I believe it was yellow. Thing was, yeah, I think. For some reason, that's how I, the color I remember it was. Anyway, he did have one. Thing was just gorgeous. And of course, Jada announced, Jada Toys announced this not too long ago. And I was like, yeah. I gotta have it. I mean, it's a, it's, a, it's a. I was gonna say Forerunner again. It's a Plymouth Roadrunner. It's a beautiful car. It's blue. You guys know it's blue's my color. And you know, I I didn't notice till till now that it has the Roadrunner uh, decal on the side, and then it has White and Coyote. I'm 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 really hyped. So anyway. Uh, I'm gonna cut it here and cut the video here. And then when I get home, we'll do an unboxing. And uh, cause that's definitely getting displayed with the rest of my cars. And um, yeah, let's see if I find some, some other stuff, but I think I should just focus this video on the, uh, the Plymouth Roadrunner. So see you guys in a bit. All right, guys, so here we are. Definitely, you see a little bit of sunshine. And it's a couple days later. You know, gets busy when you're a family man, get home, gotta do, you know, stuff, take care of the kids and help in the house and all that, all that that, that comes with being a family guy. But here we are. It is a beautiful sunny day out here. And now I'll be able to unbox this beautiful 1970 Plymouth Roadrunner and with Wiley Coyote um, loving the actual decal right there the graphics but anyway today I am prepared I do have my knife my little exacto knife in order to you know what let me see if just like the uh, the Hello Kitty if I don't really have to open both sides to Actually, there should be one there. There we go. Hopefully, just like the uh, Hello Kitty, the boxes are pretty much all the same. It's got this tab. It's got this tape right here. So if you open the other side, this tape won't let you pull it out the other way. So hopefully, that's all we need to pull this beautiful... Roadrunner and Wiley Coyote. Yep. So looks like they all come out. If you're looking at the box from the front end, they come out the left side. So here we are. My God, look at the shine. Look at the glitter, the flakes on that paint job. This thing is gorgeous. Wow. So anyway, let's get to it. I already, you know, did a lot of talking beginning of the video I'll tell you guys you just got two phillips screwdrivers or screws you're gonna need a phillips screwdriver that's what i meant to say to take these now some of the uh the other jada toys 124 scale cars come with um some of them are like the just trucks they'll come with a rack with extra of the extra set of wheels so you could actually change the wheels um so it comes with the set of wheels that's on the car and then some on the side and i'll actually come with screwdrivers similar to this so i have a couple of these screwdrivers which is just the perfect size all right i'm holding on please remember to hold on to the car because that's the once you take that screwdriver off, oh, God, this thing is beautiful. This thing is beautiful. Now, like I've mentioned, as you guys seen, I put a little bit of plastic right there and one here to keep it from opening. And I just hope it and scratch it. No, I did it. But um, yeah, let's be kind of trying to be careful. Being a little clumsy. Take this out. So that we can open the hood. I'm trying to keep my, my finger down there to keep the hood from opening and scratching the car. That's not what I want. Those were not my intentions. All right, open this. Now we can open the doors. And then this tape right here. 
Okay. And there we go. Car's open. Trunk is open. Wow. Look at that. The pedals. Paint it. The actual. Let me see if I. Uh, look at that. That is beautiful. Both doors open. Oh my god, that flake finish. Got the blower, headlights. Oh, I love it. You guys see this? Let me see if this can focus. You got the Looney Tunes logo on the license plate in the front. The hood does open. Man, this thing is beautiful. This thing is gorgeous. It does have the uh, Brembo calipers with the drill slotted rotors in there. Um, I don't know. I think I have some extra wheels just because I wanted to give it a different look. That's the good thing about Jada Deadcast. You take these screws out, you're able to take it apart, swap the wheels if you have extra wheels from any of the other sets. But this thing is beautiful. This thing even has the Looney Tunes license plate in the back man overall this thing is gorgeous and whitey coyote over there asking for help man there's not really much i can say about this but that's it guys that's pretty much it this beautiful car now i gotta get whitey coyote out of over there and set this bad boy with my uh, with the rest of my cars, um, I'll try to put this so it doesn't run. Stay right there. Oh yeah. All right, guys. So that's about it. Um, what can I say? Thank you for your support. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys can hit that thumbs up, share, subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. If you haven't, if you're subscribed and haven't hit that notification button, I I very much appreciate if you guys do. You guys will see more videos of uh, Jada toys, of stuff that I find, and uh, I'll be posting the majority of all the Jada toys, diecast metals, uh, toys, and diecast you know cars that I own. I'll be showing you guys more of that. I'm really, really um, focusing on that because you know I've been collecting these cars for like 15 years. Um, and I really, really would like to be chosen by Jada Toys to be one of their elite members when it comes to reviews and unboxing. If I get chosen, then I'll be, they'll be sending me stuff so I can open and review and all that good stuff. Uh, it's been a while. I was gone for almost two years, but I am back. I've been, uh, you know, investing on some, some equipment, uh, for, for videos. I, uh, ordered a microphone, which I'm using today. I don't know if the audio quality has changed but um we'll see uh i'll compare you guys tell me if you guys notice the difference in the audio but uh other than that thank you so much for your support guys you guys are the best love you guys have a blessed and safe day um that's for you and all your family and as usual big hugs to every single one of you daps to all my homies and as usual later gator